Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Hi, How are you? Good fat. Like I was literally running. Just <laughs> <laughs> on my car. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like today I have to make it. Like can't rain or shine. I'm making it. So yeah, that's how I am. How are you guys? Good. Well, welcome, first of all. We're glad Thank to you. finally speak to you. And I like the bright, bright yellow <laughs> shirt. Listen, everything I do is in intentional, you know. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, I mean, it took us a while to get here with all the rescheduling and making everybody's, meeting everybody's yeah. times, but... I think it's going to be worth it. Um, it has to be. So let's get started. <laughs> um, so to get started, we're just going to ask you to give us an introduction to who you are and what you do. So like a little 60 second elevator pitch. Cool stuff. So Petronella here, um, Petronella Kotkets on Pashele. Um, I'm, I'm fighting between using my Vanek name. I've been using my English name for a very long time. And I'm fighting to use my um, um, Vanek name, which is not working because everybody knows me as Petronella. So that's who I am. I have to accept it. <laughs> um, I'm 29, 10, 30, which is crazy for me. I don't feel 30. How does 30 feel like, guys? I feel like I a don't child. know. I'm, I don't I'll know be either. In December <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> How does I'm it feel like? I am I'm scared. scared. <laughs> 10 30 in September, and I've known 30 year olds as I was growing up, right? And they were older, they were grumpier. They were... I feel like a child. Like, if you were to ask yeah. me how old I am, I have to think about it because I want to tell you 22. But I have to remember that I I'm feel not. I like they were just faking it though, because I, like, my friends are all over 30. And, like, there's no like there's no real difference there um, yeah. but then I think about it and I'm like okay when I was a kid and I looked at 30 year olds I'm like am I old <laughs> like what is going on not me <laughs> I don't think 30 you know for us the, the millennials now 30 feels different like 30 feels like somebody else in like yeah. another world not us we want to be mm. 20 forever However, I'm turning 30 in September. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so I'm an, an, as, an as, aspiring media mogul, right? Um, I've started media from uh, 2014. I was an intern at Prime Media um, Outdoor, and that's where the love uh, started for mm -hmm. this industry. And I have moved from one big Media house to the next. From Prime Media, I went on to Caxton. From Caxton to Cosmopolitan Magazine to Jersey Kids. And now I actually consult. Um, I do my own thing. Um, I'm a founder of two companies. Wink Effect, uh, which is a like an integrated media agency, if you can call it that. Um, because I try to, I mean, I have so many contacts. Um, I have so many people that I do different work for. So I try to always find the synergy between, you know, this brand can leverage of this message and so forth. So that's where the integration comes in and take a few, which is a very new baby. Um, she's only three months old. Uh, she is an online star for small vendors, you know, people who do not have time to learn what, a user interface is and yet want uh, their brand and stock to be positioned online and have that digital um, digital footprint or presence if one can say so mm -hmm. I'm here for that I do that for them and in a nutshell that what I do is who I am uh, media is, is, is me um, I'm an extrovert I miss my events oh my gosh I miss people like I, I feel like I could touch them <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. Mm. Okay. Mm. So nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. Can I tell a story of how I met uh, Sasha? So <laughs> uh, I was with Josie Kids and she was with Prima Toys mm. and we had a meeting. And from there, can I tell you, this guy, this girl gave me campaign 
the campaign, like my salary, like my salary slip, salary slip looks very nice because of you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart until she sadly left. So, Good luck, yeah. I don't work there anymore. You just spilled yeah. all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been out of a job on Monday. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but we've kept in touch over the years and um, I'm glad we can talk to you today. Um, so what we usually start with is our 30 second COVID quiz. So we get mm. to know the lockdown version of Petronella. Okay. So okay. answer these as fast as you can. Okay. Okay. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Afternoon naps or sleeping in? Sleeping in. Video call or voice call? Video call. Desktop or mobile? Desktop all day. <laughs> Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Ah. Email or WhatsApp? WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Sneakers or slippers? Heels. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's a typical, typical Petronella. <laughs> like <laughs> wine or whiskey. Wine. Morning shower or evening shower. I skip a day lately, but yeah, um, uh, morning showers. Because if I don't do it in the morning, I will not do it for the day. Mm -hmm. Snack <laughs> all day or three meals a day. Snack all day. Okay. Home cooked meal or order takeout online? Takeout. Okay. And then finally, your best lockdown hack. Oh, so um, digital and uh, media agencies and so many people, Google, um, Instagram, so many businesses are giving away so many things for free. Take mm. advantage, it will mm. never happen again. Yeah. So many things are being given out to us, guys. Grab them now. Courses, certificates. Get, get in it now. I actually got almost 10 billboards uh, during, for free for Prime Media um, during lockdown. And that's like almost a million rent. Yeah. I got it for free. So wow. check out these companies, check out the media owners, media uh, publishing companies and so forth. So many people are, and brands are giving out things to help us as a mm. business and us as a youth. That's the heck. That's very cool. I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of very free cool. stuff out there. Um, I know for creators, like Adobe is two months free. There's a lot of like things that you can just grab hold of to make the most of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, I mean, what's been the biggest impact on your business during lockdown? Um, it's, it's all monetary. Um, the business is not there. The checks have been cut. The budget is, are you sick? Are you still sick, my baby? I am battling sinuses. So, <laughs> Because it's, it's winter now, so the air is very dry. So I've actually gone back and watched all our videos. And in every single one, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> 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 tissue. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I was actually battling sinuses as well. I got like your nose drops mm. things. So I mm. take like droplets yeah. uh, like three times a day. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, it's, okay. it's my signature move. So just ignore me. <laughs> well, with a tissue during an interview. <laughs> <laughs> all, all natural, all organic. Yeah. You know, tell me about it. Well, except for my face, I have my full face on. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, yeah, so uh, budgets have been cut. Um, and you would think uh, you would think that it's time for us digital marketers to show off right now and be making money. However, that's the total opposite. Um, um, traditional media is winning. Um, it's back to the Stone Age, you know, printing. It's it's you know getting the it's getting the money. It's getting the campaigns, you know. Um, 
it's the biggest thing has been money. I've been without money. I've been without paying gigs. I had my gigs and my campaign stopped. Um, so the biggest thing that I've never ever in my life thought I'd had to deal with was not having a salary or not having, you know, a paycheck, you know, something mm -hmm. that comes out throughout the month uh, from somebody who's had multiple, uh, multiple income streams, who's used to, you know, getting five here, getting two here, you know, they all make up to pay for the bill at the end mm. of the day, you know, mm. buy me a pair of heels. But then now it's like, no, sir, mm. not at all. There is mm. nothing. Why do you think that is? Because we, we discussed in another video as well, where we said, you know, now is the time that digital should be moving forward. And like you say, digital strategists, designers, like that whole digital era should actually be making money now more mm. than ever. And it's really not. And, you know, it's like you're saying, people are going back to the traditional way of marketing, mm. back to basics, back to before any kind of digital era. And it's, it's working for them. Um, but I think at this stage, we should be moving forward and taking what we know about digital and pushing that and propelling it with businesses. I don't, I don't, I don't know why people's mindsets haven't changed, but yeah. Mm. It's, in it's my fun. opinion, Jess, um, I would think, um, you know, we're so, like in South Africa or the third world countries that are developing, you know, um, the internet or the digital environment is not a trusted, it's mm. not a trusted platform. And so put on top of that, put on fake news. All these fake news are coming off from the internet. They're not, they will not be printed on your Kexton newspaper. Mm. They will not because the editor would have double checked with the reporter, with the copywriter. Everybody would mm. have checked if the story is reliable before it's printed. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm just going to, can I, I'm on five percent. I'm just going to plug my. Okay. Sure. Before we That's conversation. Fine. I'm so, just going to blow my nose. <laughs> Where is my charger? I was thinking of making a montage of all my tissue tissues okay. moments yeah. <laughs> it's so funny that you mentioned that because like you notice as the videos go mm. on but like if we have to go back and watch the first one and see like some of them i look at myself and i'm like <laughs> what were you doing like my facial expressions yeah like you know because when i ha i stopped the video to get the little screenshots for each of the, mm. the little ads and now i'm like what's wrong with my face <laughs> Hilarious, but something we can laugh at later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Are we I'm plugged cool. in. <laughs> and I'm out of breath again. I read through the house. <laughs> Are you having wine? Oh, what's up? No, we I wish. Wine in the last video, though. Mm, yeah. Nice. A common thing for a Friday. Have a glass we of wine. I was actually, um, this can be off topic, but I was asking tops to actually be um part of these conversations um i was asking them to like they could maybe send um a bottle of wine to you ladies send it to me and you know we can be like oh, wow. that would yeah. be great that would be great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm working on that i'll speak to sasha about it cool yeah yeah I'll we're all in that. yeah <laughs> Cool. So as I was saying, so the fake news, the fake news is so big and it only exists in one platform and that's online. And mm. um, so the trust is not so real with, you know, it's non-existent with consumers, with readers. Um, before I can even tell you what I've read, I have to search, mm. you know, it's, it's a long way to go. So I'm just thinking um, nobody trusts us. You know, um, nobody trusts us to do our job mm. correctly in a platform that they don't trust themselves. Um, everybody believes they can run their own Facebook page. They can run their Instagram page. So it's like, what are you, why am I paying you for something that's something that my 
13 year old can do you know mm. um so it's like we do not understand as a nation we are far from understanding what digital marketing is it does not yeah. work in our heads it's not a trusted space and newspapers have been here for a while um if i see it on the newspapers for real i can take it physically to the store and be like i want this mm. you know mm. with your phone that's not possible so that's i think in my opinion um, and that's why when Sasha told me about this, I was like, you know what, I'm just so tired of, uh, like, I'm tired of speaking about digital media to, to, to show people that it works, mm. to give you the best, to give you the reasons. I'm like, they don't get it. And it's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. I think that that's an interesting perspective to say it from, because it's something that I haven't thought of from myself, for myself. You know, obviously I question why it's not working and you know, you put a lot of effort into it in the back end and it doesn't portray, um, you know, for everybody else. So it's interesting to see from that perspective and say, you know, you're actually right when you say it's not a trusted industry. And unfortunately, there's so many scam artists out there and there's so many people that are able to just put up a campaign or put together a voucher code or, you know, mm -hmm. there's been with pick and pay, I know there were issues with so many different companies and they're affected as well. So remember with celebrities as well, like people would use Tal to the space um, to sell a dress and she'd be like, I'm not affiliated with the brand, do not trust it. People would be bananas booked at, will be like a bananas booked at one, two, three, come through, buy tickets. She'd be mm -hmm. like, I know nothing about it. To do. So it's sure. a whole lot of things. Your pick and pay your celebrities with, with, with the internet, you can easily put Beyonce's face here and say you were speaking to Beyonce. Well, you yeah. don't have to do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah I hear what you're saying. and I, Sorry, Sash, to interrupt mm -hmm. there. Um, I hear what you're saying, and I think that's why it's so important to do things like this, so that people, they meet you face-to-face -face as such, like they're seeing your face on the video and they're hearing what you're saying. And you know, what you do as a person. And I think also to find the value in that, because I find being a designer, people don't value it if they can't, it's not tangible to them. Mm -hmm. it's service and they're like, okay, well, anyone can do it and anyone can do it for half the price. Sure, they can, but I don't think that they realize the science that goes into it, you know, the studying that went into it. There's so much more to it than what you see at face value. And I think that's what people need to start um, understanding especially in the digital area like you say I think we're so inundated with content we actually don't know how to stream through it and it, it's confusing and it's just chaos and you know it's even difficult for us who know the industry to to filter through the fake stuff and to filter through you know what's good and what's mm. not and what to follow and what not to follow so yeah I think from that perspective it's difficult because a way forward is hard to see um, but it's nice to hear from that perspective and people should, you know, maybe think about that as well. Mm. Well, everything you say, especially, you know, when you said um, designing, uh, being a designer, you know, um, so many things and like so many, I feel like so many things value have been uh, diluted. Mm. Um, like being a designer, you can say, Petrina, um, I can do a post uh, poster for you, you know, for whatever you're doing, uh, for any of your projects. Um, Canva saying, Patrina, you can do it yourself. You know, uh, Canva saying, I will give you a template. Uh, you're designing your hair, so now do it on the screen. So I feel like so many things digitally have been diluted. They've lost value. Uh, people don't understand that designing, or understand, especially for a brand, has to be representative. You know, um, so they rather, you know, I have a logo, I can download the logo from, you know, put colors that I want to put in. I use Canva myself uh, for Canva, put on my platform and that's it. I'd say, Jessica, your services are too expensive. I will not do it. I get a free, um, what do you call this, the trial period. So with the trial uh, the trial that Canva gives me, I can actually do more than uh, me paying you. Mm -hmm. So that's what I feel like. I feel like every position um, and every element of, of the digital platform 
has lost value with the DIYs, especially with the upcoming of influencers. You know, mm. influencers yeah. are not marketers, and yet we are losing money to them as well. So it's a whole lot. If like if we could look at this extensive extensively, it's it's a whole lot of things to unpack and a whole lot of things to tell us that our lessons, our skills, you know, our credentials, we went to school for this, they are not valued. Um, somebody can create something and if it's word of mouth and it's trending, then that's it. Mm. Bye-bye. We don't need to save this mm. anymore. Yeah. I think that's the hard part as well because some, at face value, you'll see, okay, designing a poster is to place a logo, find an image and put some text on it. And from our perspective, it's so completely different because it's so much more than that. You know, there's reasons behind what we, what we do and how we place it. And, and I think that's, that's where things are devalued because they don't understand the worth of having a designer and having that perspective and vision from mm. someone that's trained. Um, mm. You can put together a poster through these apps you can, and it works. It does. It will sell your product, no problem. But I think at the end of the day, the core values of what we've learned and what we've studied, that's been lost. And that's mm -hmm. the sad part because how do we get that back? Mm -hmm. You know, and how do you show people? Because I think with public specifically, they're looking at what's the cheapest mm -hmm. and what can I get for the cheapest rate? And if I can do it myself, then great. You know, mm -hmm. and that's why you see a lot of... Um, business is popping up everywhere <laughs> and that design market's just it's yeah. plummeted because Can there I is no value you, to it anymore there is a very big brand very big brand um who used um a picture that i saw on canva so i could not, like i could see that this is from canva this is a template and i was like and I can use the, the, the picture as well. They don't own the, pay, uh, the picture. They don't own the template. It's like, but what's the identity of, of you being a big brand and using services like this? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel like that's lost as well. You know, brand identity and respecting your brand for heaven's sake, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it all gets watered down. So everyone's using the same template. Everyone's using the same picture, everyone, you know, there's no, there's no uniqueness and no <clears throat> special, specialness to the identity that a professional will bring in. Um, and I mean, we've all taken a knock, I think, especially in the lockdown, all creatives, um, all online marketers, we've all sort of taken a huge knock. And for me, my eczema has flared up due to an increase of anxiety. And so I've had to separate, you know, my downtime versus my work time. Um, mm. And so, so how have you coped like emotionally and mentally and physically with yeah. the changes in like the nation, like going from level five to four to three, the changes in economy and the changes in the industry? Like how are you... So, well, um, I've been on, so I have chronic um, anxiety. Um, so you can imagine now uh, what's happening with me. Mm. So um, I've had to, like, I, I'm over this. I'm over this. I've been over this for a while. However, being over this, I can't just, like, sleep the day away. I have to wake up and show face and sleep again, being over it. Mm. And that circle has been killing me softly like every time i go to sleep i've been feeling like damn we're going to be doing this again tomorrow mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i'm gonna wake up have my coffee i'm gonna get online try to find paying gigs trying to mm -hmm. find you know trying to sustain the day trying to make sure there's money at the end of the month to pay bills um have food that's a physical part gain weight Mm. I go to sleep <laughs> like I've, I've, I've been one person who's like I'm one person who likes to have a productive day you know mm. when I go to sleep I want to think about those challenges you know oh my gosh 
So tomorrow, what are we going to do about this problem? Um, today, you know, I did such a great uh, job of my team. Um, instead of what we did today, we need to do more of this. Let me make notes in the middle of the night. But mm -hmm. I cannot do that anymore because there's no, there's no, the, the, my day is just like this. Yeah. There's yeah. no up, there's no down, there's nothing that's happening in the day. The day is flatlining and I'm feeling like I'm flatlining myself. There's nothing mm -hmm. to look forward to. Um, I thought I'd be excited with level three with the alcohol, however, and then what? Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. What? What's really changed? Yeah. And yeah. I think people, and people forget that... <clears throat> as creatives or digital or whatever, like everyone's trying to keep their businesses afloat, but our businesses are dependent on other businesses. Like our customers are, they're not like the man in the street, you know, that everyone can buy some a product. Our businesses are dependent on your businesses. So I think people tend to cut us first as creatives, but actually we are the ones who can you know put put your brand out there help you promote and market yourself in mm -hmm. more efficient ways so that you can continue bringing in business which will then help us maintain mm -hmm. our business you know? it's such right. a vicious cycle that because it's, it's like you yeah. say you need a designer or a digital strategist or a marketer in order to help push your business to the next mm. level in order for you to make that revenue to carry on but that's the first thing that people let go of because they believe that they can do it themselves mm. and granted some people can um but i feel like everyone at this stage like in the beginning of lockdown it was like everyone's clawing in that survival mode mm. and now like you're saying we're flatlining and people are losing it's almost I won't say losing creativity and losing sort of that drive, but it's definitely affected the mental states of everybody, um, some more than others. And I think now, myself as well, I'm sort of going back to where I started at the bottom from scratch again and saying, right, with all this mess and everything that's going on, like, yeah. let me start at the bottom again and work my way up because mm -hmm. I know how to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so going from survival to like, nothing to like okay starting again yeah. it's been this whole process and like i was saying through the levels i found nothing much has changed around us but my mental state has mm. so you know you're going through this process and through these phases and yeah i think a lot of people are going to have to start from scratch again and find a I new know. way to be to build you mm. know because i feel like especially Sash with all the people that we've been speaking to have, have owned their own business or they mm. own their own business now. And it's so interesting to see, you know, it's from scratch, it's been mm. done from the beginning and you've hustled your way up to the top and now it's like, cool, start it again. <laughs> Go back to basic, start it again. And you've been given like your own hammer with your own branding on it to break down the walls. Mm. Yeah. And that you you build your whole yeah. life. So, you know, if you don't just wake up and have a business, it starts with a dream. It starts with, you know, where you see yourself. You know, mm. working um, in being employed. It, mm. it, it's a process of you saying, finally, I will do it. So you've been given like you've been given a hammer. Um, mm. In a day, everything changed. In mm. a day, I was a okay. I was gonna go to you know Zimbabwe very soon. Um, so now, sorry, this, this thingy just distracted me for a bit. Um, you know, I was okay one day and the president, um, did the whole lockdown, um, speech and my world was crumbled. Um, mm -hmm. I woke up to emails, um, uh, say to Trinella, we cannot do this anymore, you know, mm -hmm. from, from brands and campaigns, uh, we have to take back this, we have due to the president, president, president's speech, mm -hmm. uh, due to lockdown, due to the pandemic. And I remember I nearly lost it because you can only take so much bad news. You know, mm -hmm. there were like the influx, just, you know, when you, when you have your own thing or, or like in, in media, you know, you look forward to your emails, you know, your inbox, your inbox yeah. is 
gusto ko. I'm so true. Sublime. You know? And now, my inbox was full, but with bad news. And yeah. um, that's how it's been. You know, I had to take my own um, hammer and break down my own mm. house. Mm. But it's not been easy. It's not like I know we, we are going to be okay, Jess, as you said. We have to start from scratch and build again. However, I'm in my feelings right now about losing. Mm. I am in my feelings and I want to iron out those feelings. Um, I'm in the moment of the pain of mm. it's not physical pain, but it's painful not to um, be working your dream. You know, now we have yeah. to look at alternative ways to make money. I and think, yeah, I think having achieved that dream as well is the hardest part because mm. you got to a point where you were happy and satisfied and you had achieved the goals that you set out to do. And then someone else took that away. You know, it wasn't through your own doing. And I think that's such a hard pill to swallow. Mm. But also thinking about it now, going back to basics and you kind of, you kind of question, how did you do it originally? You know, mm. because you have done it before from mm -hmm. scratch. So you kind of have to go back there and say, um, you know, how did I do this so many years ago? And how am I going to do it differently? Or how am I, what am I going to take that was the same that, that's going to help me build again. So yeah. like you're saying, that mental state is so important and it's, it is difficult, but it's also very exciting at the same time because you've got nothing left to lose. You know, if you can only build from here and move, move upwards. And the nice thing is you have all that knowledge already. So mm -hmm. you're not starting from scratch again, but yeah, it's, it's a hard process. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely no, is. But no, that's really great advice. Yeah. But I needed to talk, you know, uh, most importantly, um, I just wanted to have a conversation with my peers, you know, mm. um, more than that, people who are going through the same thing differently, mm. might be differently, but we're all going through something, mm. uh, you know, just to, you know, to, those were very kind words from you, Jessica, and thank you for that. Um, we've done it before, you know, mm. um, so let's do it again. Um, it's just differently now because we've been through a pandemic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I just needed this more than anything, and thank you guys for having me here. Yeah. Oh, no. that's good. I'm very glad about that. Sorry, Sasha. No, no. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um. Just... Yeah, I think you know, owning a business, any business, and any owner is it's hard in itself, and going through this pandemic, having that, is just it's it's terrifying. But it's so important, like I said, there's nothing left for you to lose. Mm. And you have that knowledge and you have those skills and you have those contacts. And now is the time to start building again. Mm. You know, like I said, I feel like level three has really done not much for anybody. It's really changed nothing. But it's so nice to have that time still to start the process of building back up. Because it's almost like that advantage you can take now. You know, yeah. where not so busy your clients aren't banging on your door for work and all the rest of it you have that time to start, like reflect and start mm. building piece by piece back mm. up and i think that's so important now to take advantage of because in level five and four it was like what are we going to do what's happening we don't know and now mm. it's kind of settled mm. so you can start yeah. that process again you know what's scaring me about level three um, uh, and I, I realized this as I was out. Um, it feels like everything is back to normal, except mm -hmm. for our businesses. Um, everybody's out. Everybody's standing by the corner. People are now coming back, uh, um, knocking on our windows at the Roberts. Um, and yet we don't have our businesses fully open. And I'm like, who, like, some people are really gaining right now, you know, still having to go to work and do all the things that they've been doing. And some of us still have to be locked down and locked away. And that bothers me so much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's the same. The world has gone back to, this, to being, you know, a very, um, what is the word? Um, when there's a lot of people, a crowded world. Yeah. I come from a mall today and it was 
I like I, I like I come from it's the big like the busiest mall, right? The busiest mall in the West Rand, uh, Westgate. And it was the same. It was like December, you know, December when everybody has money. And I'm like, but what's happening with us? Like, this is not fair to some of us who were told not to consume or our product cannot be assume, uh, consumed, sorry, consumed. So, and judging from the point and taking it from the point where we, if, so, if people are not consuming everything, then we can't fully work. Mm -hmm. because most of our friends and most of our clients still on cons consumption you know mm -hmm. if people are not going to hotels if people are not going to um casinos for entertainment mm -hmm. if pe people are not going out for entertainment but they can be you know crowded in the mall the mall the retailers people who have been making money are still making money and we are here sitting like what about us mm -hmm. Yeah. It's funny you say that, and I think it's industry specific because um, one of my new clients now is in the publication industry and events industry, and she said that it is dead. Like hotels, events, anything entertainment wise is just dead. And, you know, to sit and watch the rest of the world get on with their lives and it's so frustrating because yeah. you're like, why? Why is it okay for some and not okay for others? And I think that's a question, even for myself, I've been like, there's no justification mm -hmm. as to inundating a mall with people, yeah. <laughs> but not being able to have a golf day. Mm -hmm. how, how do you justify that? Or having an event. sit in a restaurant and eat. How do you justify it? Yeah. That's, that's but this is the thing. And I think that's so frustrating because like you're saying, you know, like you're sitting and you're still in lockdown and you are frustrated because you're watching everybody else get on with life. But I also feel like the whole getting on with life is a facade because people aren't really getting on with it. You know, it's it's a facade of cool, I can do exercise now and I can run on the streets and I can go to the shops and I can buy a few more items and I can this and, and I feel like there's this this selling of hope that's mm. been that's fed, you know, but in actuality, you're still in lockdown, you're still restricted, and mm. yeah, things are back to normal. You still can't get on with your life as you could before. Mm. And I think that's something that we have to sort of adapt to and come to terms with that it might be like this for a long time and we need to find another way and you know sitting and watching is not going to help us we need to find another way to sort of start start our process again and mm. get back into into our own lives yeah yeah and and just coming off that like what are you um petronello how do you think people or creatives um speaking from our point of view how do you think we need to adapt our thinking and feeling in order to not only survive but like thrive in this new normal where things appear to be normal but you know in the back end people are not earning their usual incomes people are being retrenched um you know we have to walk with masks everywhere You've got to be um, aware of what you touch and touching your face and kids going back to school is like daunting for parents. How do you think like we need to adapt or how do you maybe plan on adapting to, yeah. you know, come out of survival mode and go back into thriving and, and being busy and building, building up? You know, I was just thinking, um, are we ever going to be normal again? Um, and that's always in my mind, like what's going to happen when this ends? Um, I freak out when I see people touching. And um, recently I had a nightmare of people kissing and I was in public and I was like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you know, so it's, you know, <laughs> the world is not the same. Mm -hmm. um, it's, not the same i don't know how i'm gonna do it um, i don't have the answers i wish i could i uh, know what to do i'm still mm. trying to figure out what to do now in survival mode you know um being in survival mode um it's it's 
hard to it's hard to catch up or to be caught up with what's happening because it's level two and I have to survive for level two, then it's level three. Okay, cool, mm-hmm. I still can work. However, I'm in level three. So it's like just this it's a roller coaster. Like it's it's just going up and down with me getting used to this and then getting used to not having this and getting used to this. So I'm still trying to find my survival mode. Mm. If one can say that. I'm mm. still trying to, you know, now I have to make sure there's a mask in my car every time. Make sure um, people are not so close to me. You know, sometimes you forget because uh, we, we are social people. You know, you'd be standing so close to somebody and then you have to remember, no, let me scoot back a bit. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know how we will get out of it. I don't know how mm. I will get out of it but I'm still trying to catch up to the new normal. It's Mm. a new normal every day for Mm. me. I think that's the hard part as well. It's because it's not something that's changed and the change is the same. It's, it changes and it changes and it changes. You know, Mm. every other week there's something else. Every other week you're having to adapt. And I think that's why as business owners, but just as human beings as well, we're so versatile and we are able to do that. But mentally it takes such a huge toll Mm -hmm. because week on week, you know, people are watching the news on a Sunday night and they're going, okay, now things have changed and we're going to have to change our our lives again. (laughs) Yeah. But it is, it gets to that point where you say, you know, why, why should I watch it? What do I even believe anymore? What are, what are yeah. my values anymore? You know, how is life going to treat? We don't know anything. And I think that's, yeah. that's such a hard thing to swallow as well as not knowing, you know? Yeah. And I think for myself, what's, what's been difficult is I've got two small children as well. And do I send them back to school or don't I send them back to school? Okay. Um, you know, what are they, what are they, the rest of their year look like at school are they gonna have to wear masks running around on a playground i'm not happy with that you know Mm. is it better to keep them at home and not have friends i don't know Mm. you know so i think it's day by day we have to sort of adapt and it's a back and forth motion constantly Mm. and it's it's difficult but i think coming from a business owner's perspective i think that strength in you is there already and that's what's so nice about it like i was saying you've got nothing left, left to lose so to start building and start that back and forth motion like you're moving forward slowly you know Mm. and that's that's all we really can do at this stage um but obviously our mindsets have to change as well to you know if we can't do events if we can't see people if we can't socialize we can't eat out at restaurants how do we adapt how do we change that perspective and sort of take on this new normal Mm. because i I don't believe that it will go back um not to the way it was Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, those, those are some hectic, hectic points there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but we can't pretend like everything is honky dory, yeah, you know. Yeah, we, yeah. Nation, we as youth, we as business owners, we as employees and employers are going through a lot. Yeah. We need to be conscious of it. We are mm-hmm. going through a lot. Let's stop uh, sweeping it under the carpet because mm. it will come back and it will be deadly. Mm. We are going through a lot. We, we, we still, we're going through it. There's no solution. Mm. Like the reason I don't even listen to the president's address is because he does not have solutions and we cannot expect him to have solutions. So we are just listening to the pain. I, mm. I can't, like I'm a solutions person. So when there's no solution, I'm like, what the F? So it's like, we are going through it. Let's go through it. If mm. we need to talk, if we need to stop, like you said, Sasha, um, you now handle your, you know, when it's work, it's work, when it's personal, it's, and that's mm. so important. Um, yeah. I have a few intents in my program that I always say, say and tell them, guys, if school assignments are getting a lot, take a break. If my work for you guys is getting a lot, take two days off the project. It's fine. Your mental health and mental state is more mm. important than your 
finishing a project. You know, mm. you can't be pressed to be finishing an, an assignment. Now you have to do it at home. You had never done that before. Now you're listening to lectures via Zoom. You had never done that before, you know. Um, um, and you have to deal with your family dynamic as well. Not every house or not every day is a happy home life. We mm. have to be um, conscious of that as, as well. You know, um, not every day that my mommy or my family is happy. Not every day that I'm happy at home. Um, with school, the reason we, with school and work and everything else, the reason that we are taken out of our comfort zone and taken to a structure to learn or to work or to produce is to take away everything that makes us different. We are all sitting in class, you know, we are all listening to the same teacher, we are all wearing the same. So now um, I have to do it from home. I might not be proud of my home. Um, I have to, you know, electricity might be gone. It, it's gone more in Soweto than any other areas. So I stay in Soweto. I am affected, you know. Mm. Those elements come into your life because love, life is not normal anymore, mm. you know. Your parents as well. And they have to get used to you being there every time being on Zoom. They don't understand it. It, mm. it. They don't get it. What are you doing? You're always on your computer. You're always on your phone, you know? Mm. Uh, so it's things like that that I speak to my interns about. I'm like, if you need to take time off, take it. Mm. Um, your whole life is not about that assignment. Your whole life is not about this intention. You need your time as well. Be okay with you being busy, with you being on Zoom, with... Uh, you know, the tasks that I've given you for the week. Take a step back and be okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's so real and it is a real thing. And I think we all, each one of us think that we are the only ones going through it and that everyone is fine. You know, you're the only weak one, but you're not weak and everyone is going through some sort of emotional you know turmoil or some sort of mental you know difficulty so it's it's more common than we think you know to mm. to have a pull a tag of war in your mind or in your emotions or even physically you know um and i think the, the main thing is that we you're not alone in it like the next person is going through something as well. The next person is going through something. It's not only you. So in that, we can be together, you know? Mm. And that's why I found it very important to speak about this. Um, mm. You know, some people think they are the only ones um, or God hates them, you know, why are they so unlucky? We all have a luck in different time intervals of life you know just because i'm lucky now doesn't mean uh, you have to be lucky as well you know i wanted to um put this conversation to light um also for my personal reasons uh being that you know people see my business i mean take a few has taken off very nicely however don't be thinking that because you see my brand or you see me you know I'm going through something as well, mm -hmm. you know. Sasha has this with Jessica. They're going through something as well. Um, waking up and being strong and going through what, and like going through the day and going through it in the day doesn't mean you're not going through it. So mm -hmm. it's important to wake up. It's important to fight it. It's important to try. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's going through it. Um, you have good days, you have bad days. Uh, however, it's important to wake up and try again. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you an entrepreneur, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep trying. <laughs> just like it doesn't matter how many times you've done it, you're just going to carry yeah. on doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Trying. And you know, um, I don't know if it's because of this, but today I woke up in such high spirits. And you know how the universe is so funny? When you're high and li lively and happy, everything else will be smoother, yeah. you know? Um, you know, I was driving around, singing in my car, <laughs> not, and nobody knows I have like negative, like 10,000 in my bank account. And I don't, <laughs> it shouldn't matter, you know? Um, mm. I was telling the universe how I wanted my day to be, and it was responding. 
you know, and that's important. Have it's not gonna be every day. I'm not gonna wake. I don't know how I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, I might try to to be the same. However, things might come up, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna keep trying mm-hmm. to have a smile. Mm-hmm. But I think, like you were saying as well, maybe it's you know knowing that you were having this chat later in the day. Um, but I think it's that knowing that there are other people that are there for you to speak to, because we are missing that a lot. I think we, we miss speaking to people and interacting and, you know, even if it's having a meeting about whatever, Mm. um, getting a new brief, whatever it may be. The fact is that you have that thing to look forward to and you have that friendship and that community. And I think that's, that's the whole point of these videos is to have that community You know. you know, I love meeting new people. Like, I love it so much because my, my job entails, you know, going to a meeting with you. Mm-hmm. I do not know you. Just come in for a briefing or, like, for whatever reason. And meeting you and hearing your stories that are so different to mine and you the same as well. Me telling you about something that you didn't know about, you know, those kind of things give me life. You know, I'm going to come back and retell the story, something new that I planned. It's a new story. It's a new thing in my my life mm-hmm. on a daily basis so yeah we miss that so yeah. much yeah okay well i mean that was that i, I feel much better um I love yeah. just, just you know having this and and having the chat and you know i think i think whoever may watch this and they are struggling may also you know find that it's a little bit comforting to know that you're not the only one and you shouldn't beat yourself up about feeling down or you know having bad days. Um, so thank you so much for coming on. Um, in the last few seconds, you can, um, if you've got any cool content or offerings or you know a little bit of self-promotion that you want to share with everyone. Yeah. So um, I just want, you know, the traffic is so important uh, for my vendors. So I just want everybody to please check out the store, um, takeafew.shop. Um, just to circle back, sorry, to what uh, Jessica was saying as well, uh, having nothing to lose. That's mm-hmm. how I felt starting Take A Few. I mean, it's same name as Take A Lot. I did not I think care what they would think I need to make my money and if I need to steal traction from them I will do it the <laughs> name was <laughs> the name was available and I could buy it and I did um and I had nothing to lose so it's it's I had that attitude and I'm gonna keep going with it I had forgotten for a while Jess and thank you for I mean I mean, you were something else today, but yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know that saying, uh, saying, remember why you started, you know, in the middle of, you know, your starting, uh, you forget why you even started. But yeah, just remember today. Um, so take a few, it's my passion project. Um, uh, just check it out, you know, you buy or you don't buy, just check it out. Um, just see the cool products that we have of, uh, fellow South Africans who are small businesses, who are smaller businesses, just trying to get that, you know, sale that will mm-hmm. help with, you know, with small businesses, when you support it, you buy nappies, guys, you, you buy sugar for somebody, mm-hmm. and that's all I'm asking for, just please support black businesses that I'm trying to help gain digital, um, mm-hmm. digital presence. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us. We're very excited that we chatted to you. It was, it was a long wait, but a very worthwhile one. Very worthwhile. <laughs> and I, I think we, we need to have another one soon, soon. Yeah, we'll definitely do a follow-up. I'm getting the wines from Tops. Um, once that's sorted, I'll ask for you guys' addresses and awesome. we'll talk tipsy as F. Like. <laughs> that's great. And like I, I know it's something that Sasha and I have spoken about in the pipelines and we'll probably need to do planning and stuff on it, but we want to take these videos further and we want to push for the small businesses and start to have this community of, you know, supporting one another. So mm-hmm. I think we'll definitely do follow-up sessions. We'll definitely mm-hmm. do some workshops and just get going on sort of creating some kind of brand out of it that mm-hmm. helps 
you know, the individuals because I think everyone that we've spoken to owns their own business. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like no one works for anybody else. And <laughs> it just happened with, that way. That's the thing with creatives, you know, it's yeah. it's your skill. I mean, where else can you do it but for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. You know, even though everyone does, a, or we're in this similar industry, or we do a similar thing, we're also different. And I think we can really help one another to build and to grow, sort of like as this, you know, this pyramid, mm. as opposed to just this little, you know, individual. And I think that's so important and so needed. Mm. Um, a lot of sure. businesses don't have the support. So thank you for doing what you're doing. And yeah, we're excited to speak to you again. Thank you so much, guys. Yay. This was everything awesome. I had hoped for. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm That's glad we could help you. And yeah, you gave us a lot of great insights as well. Uh, so thanks. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Cheers.